Malformations of cortical development, or MCDs, comprise a large heterogeneous group of disorders of disrupted cerebral cortex formation caused by various genetic, infectious, vascular, and metabolic, uh, metabolic etiologies. Uh, it often presents in early uh, childhood uh, or early adulthood. The most common manifestation is epilepsy or could present by developmental delay, intellectual disability, or cerebral palsy. It is estimated that 40 to 50 percent of drug-resistant epilepsies treated by surgery in children are caused by MCDs. Well, the definitive diagnosis of MCD is uh, based on histopathological diagnosis, but it most commonly, uh, and it is, it is not feasible, it is only available in surgical specimens or in uh, autopsy. Therefore, the most practical uh, uh, approach for diagnosis is uh, begin with uh, neuroimaging associated with clinical phenotyping and genetic findings. We'll talk very shortly about the stages of uh, cortical development. There are three main step steps in the cortical development. Uh, first, a neuronal proliferation and apoptosis that starts at the periventricular region. Then, neuronal migration of these cells uh, to, to the uh, uh, cortex. And at the final destination at the cortex, uh, it undergoes uh, cortical organization. And uh, by way, it uh, proceeds till uh, uh, the age of two years, postnatally. Uh, there is uh, uh, the, the classification uh, was first founded by Barkovich in 1996 and uh, remodified uh, at 2001 and 2005, and the latest at 2012, based on the new genetic and mechanistic discoveries. In clinical practice, classification uh, based on morphology is the still the most commonly used. What is uh, the importance of having a classification? Uh, it allows uh, uh, diagnostic, uh, it improves the diagnostic ability, allowing more targeted genetic testing and uh, allows easier communication among radiologists, uh, clinicians, pathologists, uh, and lab geneticists. Imaging uh, modalities, a transcranial ultrasound is considered as a screening uh, tool, but our definitive tool is MRI. Uh, 3DT1 is of utmost importance. Uh, it uh, allows us uh, for uh, the assessment of cortical thickness and the gray white matter uh, junction. 3D flare shows the white matter abnormalities and heavy T2 se sequences are very helpful in case of CSF clefts as schizencephaly. The classification of the MCD is based upon the disruption of the major uh, embryological uh, process, uh, classified into malformations due to abnormal malformation and apoptosis, malformations due to abnormal neuronal migration, and malformations due to abnormal cortical organization. If there is abnormal uh, uh, proliferation, if the uh, proliferation is decreased, or in other words, uh, the apoptosis is increased, it will result in a microlysencephaly, or the sim more the simple form of it, micro microcephaly with simplified gyral pattern. If the proliferation is increased, it will, will result in hemimegalencephaly. If abnormal proliferation, it will result in focal cortical dysplasia or cortical tubers of uh, TS, uh, or uh, neoplastic conditions as DNET, gangliocytoma, and ganglioglioma. If there is uh, abnormality in the migration, if there is under-migration will result in classic uh, lysencephaly, over-migration cobblestone complex, ectopic migration heterotopia, if there is abnormality in the organization, it will result in polymicrogyria and schizencephaly. This is a simplified uh, classification. The actual classification is more complex and incorporates the genetic, uh, causative uh, genetics of the uh, MCDs. Starting with malformations due to abnormal proliferation, uh, micro lysencephaly or microcephaly with simplified gyral pattern. Uh, clinically, there is a microcephaly. There is a smooth cortical surface and decreased uh, sulcation. Thickened cortex uh, is seen in cases of lysencephaly, while the more uh, milder form uh, uh, with a simplified gyral pattern, the cortex is thin. 
and commonly associated with other anomaly. This is an axial uh, T1, shows uh, decreased uh, sulcation, and uh, sagittal T2 shows the microcephaly. Axial T2 shows uh, diffusely thickened uh, cortex, decreased uh, sulcation, and smooth uh, uh, brain. Uh, with microcephaly, this is a picture consistent with uh, microlysencephaly. Uh, the second disorder of proliferation, uh, hemimegalencephaly, where there is increased uh, proliferation and hamartomatous overgrowth of the whole, uh, whole or part of the cerebral hemisphere, characterized by enlarged and dysplastic hemisphere and usually associated with enlarged epsilateral lateral ventricle, epsilateral ventricle, uh, heterotopias, white matter signal abnormalities, and pachy and poly microgerium. Axial T2 shows uh, a diffuse enlargement of the uh, uh, left cerebral hemisphere associated with white matter abnormalities. Uh, another case, this is a focal form of the hemimegalencephaly affecting the uh, right uh, temporal occipital region. Uh, other name for this focal part is hemi hemi or uh, uh, dysplastic uh, dysplastic one uh, dis uh, dysplastic one uh, hemi hemi megalencephaly. Uh, if the this of the proliferation is disordered. Uh, it will result in focal cortical dysplasia. Focal cortical dysplasia uh, is characterized by uh, disordered cortical lamination with or without abnormal cells. Normally, the cortex is formed of uh, six layers. In focal cortical dysplasia, it is deranged. It is the most common epileptogenic developmental malformation, and it is a prevalent cause of surgical amenable epilepsy. Uh, in 2011, fo uh, focal cortical dysplasia was uh, were, uh, categorized uh, by the International League Against Epilepsy into three subgroups. It is an essentially pathological uh, classification, but we try to apply it on imaging. Uh, type 1, it is the most difficult to diagnose in imaging, and it is often occult. It is uh, characterized by uh, blurring of the gray-white matter uh, junction and subtle subcortical uh, uh, hyperintensity. This is another case. This is a coronal uh, flare. Shows a subtle uh, flare hyperintensity involving the left uh, temporal lobe. And on uh, coronal uh, 3DT1, we show, uh, it shows uh, a blurring of the gray-white matter junction. This is FCD type 1. Uh, type 2. Uh, there's a focal cortical uh, thickening and a funnel-shaped uh, T2 and flare hyperintensity with pointing towards the lateral ventricle uh, 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 with a classic uh, transmental sign, uh, transmental sign which is a linear hyperintensity uh, pointing toward the lateral ventricle. This is another case. This is axial flare. Shows the funnel-shaped hyperintensity, cortical-based uh, hyperintensity with subtle uh, cortical thickening. Uh, this is a curvilinear uh, 3DT1 reformat, shows the blurring of the gray white matter junction. Another case showing the classic transmental sign, where there is a linear hyperintensity pointing toward the uh, lateral ventricle. Type 3 is essentially type 1, in addition to uh, a brain lesion in the same lobe. It is uh, uh, subclassified into type A, B, and C, and D. Type A, if associated with hippocampal sclerosis. Type B, if associated with a tumor. Type C, with vascular malformation. And type D, lesions acquired in early life, glial scar due to infectious or ischemic injury. This is an axial flare showing a subtle increase in the uh, intensity involving the right temporal loop. Coronal uh, T2 shows the muffling and blurring of the gray white matter junction. Axial uh, T1 post contrast shows a linear hyper enhancement consistent with a DVA. So, so this is a type 3 FCD. The second uh, category uh, of uh, MCDs is malformation due to abnormal migration. 
which includes lysencephaly and subcortical band heterotopia, cobblestone complex, and heterotopia. Lysencephaly is a global uh, migrational disorder characterized by smooth or nearly smooth brain surface. The hallmark uh, in the imaging is the cortical thickening and diffuse uh, gyration ranging from agyria to pachygyria. This is axial T2, shows the lysencephaly, the classic lysencephaly. Figure of eight, uh, thickened, the diffusely thickened cortex and uh, uh, agyria or pachygyria. Uh, the second uh, uh, migrational anomaly is the cobblestone complex, previously known as lysencephaly type 2, uh, but uh, the name has changed it because of the uh, changing uh, genetic, underlying genetic uh, uh, mechanisms. Uh, it is characterized by irregular external and internal uh, surface and it is usually a part of the spectrum of, court, uh, of congenital muscular dystrophy where there's associated Z-shaped hypoplastic uh, uh, brainstem and uh, cerebellar dysplasia and cerebellar microcysts. Uh, the third migrational uh, anomaly is heterotopia. Heterotopia is a cluster of normal neurons in abnormal location characteristically. Uh, it is uh, iso-intense to the gray matter in, uh, in all pulse sequences. Uh, types periventricular nodular or, periventric or periventricular laminar. This is a case of periventricular nodular uh, heterotopia, uh, periventricular uh, 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 subcortical uh, non-band heterotopia. The third category is malformation due to abnormal cortical organization. The malformation due to cortical organization, it includes uh, polymicrogyria, schizencephaly, and dysgyria. Polymicrogyria is an excessive number of abnormal, uh, abnormally small gyri. Uh, it is uh, either caused by genetic defects or in uterine infections commonly by, uh, by caused by CMV and Zika virus, uh, various teratogens and ex uh, ischemic events. This is an axial T1 shows uh, uh, excessive uh, small uh, uh, gyri, tightly packed, consistent with polymicrogyria. Uh, axial uh, T2. Uh, shows uh, 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 polymicrogyria involving the uh, sylvian fissure, and this is the uh, uh, 3D, uh, 3DT1, the curvilinear reformat, shows the polymicrogyria. Uh, again, this is another case of polymicrogyria involving the left uh, frontal uh, loop. Uh, schizencephaly, it is uh, a gray uh, matter uh, lined uh, CSF cleft. Uh, it uh, extends uh, from the lateral ventricle to the pile surface across the uh, whole thickness of the cerebral hemisphere. It can be open lip or closed lip, open lip where it is filled with CSF or uh, closed lip with narrower cleft. Dysgyria is, uh, or dysgyria is a recently introduced uh, term referred to a non-specific malformation in which the cortex is dysmorphic. The mechanism is still uh, uh, not well understood. Uh, on imaging, it shows abnormal orientation uh, and depth of the sulci. Here, this is a, a case of dysgyria, uh, bilateral symmetrical abnormal orientation of the sulci in the occipital lobes. Another case of a dysgyria, uh, there is abnormal orientation of the pericallosal uh, sulci secondary to the absence of the cingulate uh, gyrus. So to sum up, uh, the cortical thickness is increased in lysencephaly. The sulcation and gyration is absent and reduced in lysencephaly while it is increased in the cobblestone and polymicrogyria. The cortical and subcortical interface is uh, irregular in cobblestone and polymicrogyria while it is blurred in uh, focal cortical dysplasia. The external contour is uh, smooth in all except the cobblestone, it is irregular. Uh, the juxta cortical white matter hyperintensity is seen in cobblestone and focal cortical dysplasia. Take home messages, classification are of great help in the process of learning and understa understanding MCD, but are often changing by the new genetic and mechanistic discoveries. The radiologist should be familiar with the normal imaging appearance of the cortex and of the gyration pattern for each age group.
customized MR imaging protocol to improve the MCD depiction should be performed in the appropriate clinical setting. Before imaging or reporting a patient with a suspected MCD, it is fundamental to acquire clinical information of the patient, including the head circumference of the patient, the EEG results. In reviewing any case, the normal external cortical surface, as well as the cortical subcortical uh, junction should be always smooth and sharply delineated. Thank you.